co-creator of Veggie Tales, and the voice of Bob the Tomato, Sunday School Lady, Archibald Asparagus, and probably a whole lot of others, Mr. Phil Vischer. Give him a warm welcome. Uh, Phil Vischer has arrived, uh, one of the co-creators of uh, Veggie Tales and the founder of Jellyfish Labs. We'll find out what that's all about coming up in minutes. It is Christmas time. That means it is time to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Time for Christmas decorations. Time for Christmas. And, uh, now on to uh, bigger, and for him, I'm sure he hopes uh, even uh, better things. Uh, it's Phil Fisher. Good morning, Phil. I, I wouldn't say better, but definitely <laughs> different. <laughs> definitely different is right. In fact, you're going uh, even beyond uh, Veggie e Tales and equally good. Uh, yeah, funny characters. And did I yeah. hear that you're on? You were on CNN, and you're going to something funny. What's going is, on? Something funny is happening because I'm doing a new series called What's in the Bible that walks kids all the way through the Bible. And yeah. so we're working with a new PR firm, and they're kind of pitching me as, "Hey, this guy knows a lot about the Bible," and they're pitching me to mainstream media like Fox News and CNN. If you have any story involving the Bible and you want someone who's moderately amusing, why not I talk see. to this guy? So I've been on Fox News twice in the last six weeks. And then uh, there's a story uh, about the governor of Rhode Island who came out you know, and, and refuses to call the state Christmas tree a Christmas tree. He's calling it a holiday tree. Right. And a lot of people in Rhode Island are cranky with him, but he's sticking by it. And so I was on CNN Sunday morning talking about why we need to keep calling Christmas traditions Christmas, and then just found out that uh, Sean Hannity wants me on his radio show tomorrow afternoon. So I'm on, so tomorrow afternoon, one o'clock uh, central time, I'm on Sean Hannity's radio show, but he decided he didn't want me just by myself, so he invited the head of the American Atheists Association <laughs> to debate me. Uh, live on the radio about whether Christmas trees should still be called Christmas trees. You know, to which my reaction is, holy cow, <laughs> how did I get myself here? So anyway, if you want to hear what happens when a tomato debates an atheist yeah. about Christmas... Tune in to Sean Hannity's radio show tomorrow uh, afternoon at 1 p.m. Well, I'm glad it's the tomato rather than Sunday School Lady who shows up with that cane Sun and starts whacking yes, him. Yes, Sunday he School Lady him, would so. show very little of God's grace, right. I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. So we have to... Hello, mister. Right. Let's talk about your bankrupt moral code. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and who could have been behind such thinking yes, like that? Yes, what would so. make you think you should change the Christmas tree? I don't know, Satan. I uh, Right. <laughs> now... Of course, it isn't just the uh, the governor. Is it uh, Rhode Island who uh, did this? Yes, yeah. governor, governor Rhode Island. Yeah, I was just uh, driving by a Whole Foods, not to pick on anybody, uh, <laughs> and uh, they have their uh, their Christmas tree selection up, and it says right there with a big sign, holiday trees. Yeah, yeah. And I was uh, I was shopping in a store I will not name, and, but it's it's so subtle that we don't even notice yeah. it. There were there were Christmas cookies on sale in the grocery store, but they're called holiday cookies. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. Well, what makes it a holiday? Well, it's they're they're frosted green and red. Yeah, okay. okay. So they're not Hanukkah cookies, <laughs> right. because those would be frosted blue. Yeah. They're not Kwanzaa cookies, because yeah. those would be frosted yellow, black, and green. Yeah, because they're So what are they? Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Christmas cookies. No. Yeah. No. So, there's no, and I'm, you know, one of, the, one of the points I'm making is, is like Christmas is, is the Lord, Lord Voldemort of holidays. It's he that who cannot be named. Right. You know, whatever you do, don't say the word Christmas. Because crusades will start or yeah. something. I'm yeah. not even sure, you know, what will happen. So we can say we can celebrate any holiday but Christmas. Yeah. Well, we're glad that you're uh, one of the spokespeople in behalf of the uh, faith. I, somehow, there, so. you know, God is throwing me in there because, yeah, I mean, there are many people smarter than I am. You know, you could go to Wheaton College or anywhere and find someone smarter than I am, but they they like some connection to something they've heard of. Yeah. So they say Veggie Tales, and they say, "Oh, the guy Veggie Tales." Okay. You know, and if you're halfway amusing, it makes for better television. So are are you nervous about this though? No. No. It'll be fun. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Right. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could humiliate yourself in front of millions of people, yeah, but aside from that, uh, uh, you've already done that, I've, right? So, yeah, I've done worse. Right. <laughs> so we think about that. Okay, so uh, you know, people, can they get a very uh, abbreviated story? We'll only have a couple of minutes here before the yes. break. But uh, how you got from Veggie Tales into some jellyfish operation? Yes, I got into trouble with my, my first company, Big Idea Productions. Um, tried to do too much, tried to build too fast, and ended up bankrupt. 
So lost it, couldn't figure out why God would do that. He taught me over about a six-month period that I had made my work I was doing for him more important than my relationship with him. Mm -hmm. And I had become miserable. I was working myself to death. Mm. And he let me, basically he let it go, not because he didn't love me, because he loved me so much. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to free me from my own ambition. And in that time of, of just looking toward him, he, he basically gave me a clean piece of paper and said, all right, let's start this again together. You know, not focused on outcomes, not focused on ambition, focused on me. Me, not me, Phil, me, God. Right. Mm -hmm. Not that Phil is God, but that God was talking to <laughs> Phil. Um, I think I have that now. Yes, right. yes. And so I started looking back and said, okay, well, I want to take kids deeper, you know, because VeggieTales, my, my real purpose in VeggieTales was just to get to the point to be able to say, remember, kids, God made you special and he loves you very much. Yeah. That was the start of a conversation about God. It was not supposed to be the entire conversation. <laughs> I, I, was, I then wanted to go deeper, but VeggieTales became so consuming that I just, I didn't have time to go deeper because we were, you know, so busy making VeggieTales gardening gloves and VeggieTales sew-at-home fabrics and, you know, <laughs> VeggieTales socks that there was no time to say, well, what's next? What's beyond VeggieTales? And so God I, kind of freed me from that, said, you shall not have to worry about VeggieTales socks any longer. <laughs> <laughs> I am making that someone else's problem. Uh, do what's next. And that is walking kids all the way through the Bible from Genesis to Revelation with the new series, What's in the Bible? Aren't you still connected, though, to the... Yeah, well, I, Thanks, that a good guys! Message. Somebody give her a prize. <laughs> we got him right up here. Okay, so are you still connected, though? You're still yes. doing some VeggieTales Yes, I'm things. still... I hang out with Mike. We do voices. Um, I, I wrote one script a year for a few years. Yeah. Uh, the last script I wrote was uh, Big River Rescue, and I, and I wrote The Wizard of Oz, and I wrote uh, Lord of the Beans. Okay. So I was still working as a creative consultant. Now I'm so busy with what's in the Bible that I'm not writing for VeggieTales anymore, but I still show up to do... I'm about half the character voices, so I... Still stay kind of busy. Okay. Well, I know that there are at least like one, two, three what's in the Bibles. Are there more than that? There. Oh, come I'm, on, I'm man. so behind the times. You, there are six wow. out in stores right now. Wow. Uh, and a Christmas special called Why Do We Call It Christmas? And, the, and that's why I'm on Sean Hannity tomorrow, uh -huh. because we put out a Christmas special that explains the traditions of Christmas, including where the Christmas tree came from. Because we get so confused about, you know, are we celebrating Jesus Christmas or are we celebrating Santa Christmas? And, and which traditions are from which? And is a Christmas tree part of Jesus Christmas or is it part of Santa Christmas? Yeah. And is it okay if we have them? Yeah. You know, and so we're unpacking all these traditions and saying, okay, do Christmas trees have anything to do with Jesus? Hmm. And they actually do, if you go all the way back. So, and that's what we're teaching in this new video, which is why I'm now debating an atheist. Yeah. Okay, well, I can see the connection. Now, it is here for sale, if I understand it right, for our audience. The Christmas special? Here. Sure it is. Okay. And if you're on the radio, I'm pretty sure we can steer you toward it, too. Okay, but if you're here in our studio audience, you you're know, here, he'll, here. he'll probably even take his magic marker out and sign it for you before you leave today, because he's that it's, kind of a guy. It's conceivable. Okay. <laughs> 24 after 8 o'clock, we'll continue our discussion with the uh, always uh, fun Phil Vischer here in just a moment. Rarely would we direct you uh, away from our own radio station, but I think you're on Sean's radio program? Yes, radio program. And that that airs tomorrow night at 6 o'clock here in Chicago. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. And I believe it is on WLS, okay. if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure about that. Okay. But uh, so you can hear uh, Phil uh, in his uh, I debate. Can hear, I can hear myself. Yeah. That's <laughs> you even can, more cause valuable because it's, yeah. it's recorded, apparently. All right. Now we're going to put you to the test. Um, oh, you're, boy. Um, we're going to see how uh, you can switch between uh, characters here. <laughs> so let's uh, start with uh, Sunday School Lady. And uh, Sunday School Lady, why don't, if my question would be, what are the most important verses I should know about in the Bible? Oh, let me tell you, dear. The most important verses are the ones that tell you to pay attention in Sunday school. Let's see, which one is that? Is there one of those? There's a verse where Moses came down from Mount Sinai with his flannel graph. Uh -huh. That is one of my favorite yeah, verses because it uh... establishes the orthodoxy of the flannel graph. Uh -huh. Okay. And there's, um, let's see, Jesus wept. I like that one because if you need the kid to memorize just one more verse before the end of class. Yeah, the, that would be the that's one. That's your yeah. verse, man. Right. You can do that in like two shakes of a lamb's tail or yeah. a lamb chop's tail. Do you ever use, uh, Sunday School Lady, do you ever use uh, Veggie Tales in, uh, in your lessons? And if you do, who's your favorite Veggie Tales character? Oh, those veggies, they kind of freak me out. Yeah, understandable. With the big goo goo eyes yeah. and the hopping nightmares makes me concerned. I was a, I see, I was a missionary in Erie and Jaya uh -huh. when I was younger. I worked with cannibals. I see. You, do you know what a cannibal is? Well, it's a can of something. It's, but... Yeah, they, it's the people who can only eat canned food. Okay, there you go. 
But sometimes they ran out of canned food and they'd try to eat each other. Yeah. So I brought them the love of Jesus and uh, Happy Meals, and they were much happier. And yeah. that was before I became a Sunday school teacher. Okay, well, let, let me just uh, tell you that there is a, the Veggie Tales thing out there, and one of the characters in that is Bob the Tomato. Have you ever heard of Bob the Tomato? How about no, that? No, I'm not familiar. It's probably for the younger generation, you know. No. I'm, I'm still, you know, when Billy Graham and I used to date. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Back in the 1840s. Man, is this scary. Yeah. So I don't mean to date myself. <laughs> and but you didn't. You dated Billy. But, once uh, electricity came in, I sort of lost touch with popular culture. <laughs> I see. Well, let me give you an illustration of what you missed by all these veggie tales. Yes, please. Let me in- introduce Enlighten you. me. Yeah. So there's this character, see, Bob the Tomato, when he's really big and round yes. and red. Yeah, and I'd wow, like... Sort of like Rush Limbaugh? Uh, well, uh, yeah, if you embarrass him, yeah, that's... <laughs> he's not as big as he used to be, however, okay. so... Okay, yeah. well, that's good. Okay, so let's, let's find out what uh, Bob the Tomato thinks of Sunday School Lady. Hi, kids, this is Bob the Tomato. You know, I had a Sunday School teacher once. I, I don't really know who this Sunday School Lady is. She sounds a little bit frightening and probably Baptist. Yeah. So, you know... I, why does she sound Baptist to you? Now, what, why? what are you alluding to in this, Sound Bob? Baptist to you? I don't know. Southern Baptist, perhaps? Perhaps. You know, church basement, probably cinder block, probably right. a yeah. very inexpensive piano, and I a see. whole lot of tiny cups of grape juice. Yeah, very good. That's what I'm thinking. Scripture memorization kind of big on her scripture agenda. Scripture memorization very, very high. Yeah. You know, and I'm all for that. I'm all for scripture memory. Yeah. Well, you know, usually not uh, un- under, under penalty of death, yeah. though, which I think was one of her motives. Yeah. But, you know, she's a lovely lady. I did notice that you she's, wrote a note saying to a, a Larry that he ought to be going to Sunday school lady more because you didn't think he knew enough about the Bible. So that's kind of scary. But <laughs> I'd never All right. said uh, that. About, I Ar- don't know what you're talking about. How about Archibald Asparagus? Hello! Thank you for inviting me. So good to be in the States with all you Yankees. Have you ever heard Dave Mitchell do news? No, I don't know what a Dave Mitchell is. Yeah, it's kind of like Bob the Tomato and the cucumber really? rolled into one. There. Big and He's red and round. That's him, and right embarrassed. there. Embarrassed. Sounds like Rush Limbaugh in the that's air too. So fascinating. Uh-huh. I'd love to hear the news from this Dave Mitchell of yours. Now here's a question: What happens when we put that guy together with the other guy from Veggie Tales? Which guy? That that cucumber guy. Oh, the cucumber. Well, the cucumber. He's an innocent chap. He's, he's likable. Yeah. Well, we're going to find out what happens. I'm not sure he graduated from Bible college. <laughs> when we put these two together again in the same room, and to my knowledge, it may be the first time in a few years that they've done this together. Oh, good heavens. This could be traumatic. It could be. And we're going to find out if it is coming up in just a moment. Hi, Roy Patterson here. I hope you can join me on Moody Bible Institute's Israel tour, The Land and the Book. May 26th through June 6th. Charlie Dyer, Paul Nyquist, and other Moody fans. 